What's up guys, Matt here. Today's gonna be a little bit different kind of video. We're just gonna do a little vlog style and I'm gonna show you, update you on what's going on. I'm right here in my new kitchen. I know we haven't done a walkthrough of the new house yet, but that'll be coming soon. So I gotta head up here into town and drop my son off and I wanna show you the project up there I've been working on, uh, painting my buddy's business. You're going to be amazed when you see uh, the front of this thing. Maybe I'll be able to drop a before pic of it. I'll try to find one of those and then show you the after. But let's go out here and get in this Duramax and head up into town. It's a cold morning. I'm going to give you the cold start on this truck right here. Haven't heard it yet. It hadn't been this cold. So let's see what this thing's going to sound like with this uh, cutoff muffler and straight pipe. You can see where I did that. My buddy took my muffler and everything off. He just said, let's do this. And I was like, all right. So I'll link that up at the top in another video, but let's check it out. All right, I'm here at Underground Sound and I'm gonna throw up the picture right up here, maybe. Let's put a picture up here of the before. And then let me flip this around and check this out. Here's the new front of the underground sound. Let me take you down the side right here. We painted all this a light gray. He's got his beautiful blue garage doors. And we also have metal trim that goes all around this once it's all finished painted today we'll be adding that on there so if you can see this get past the sun here that's what the old building looked like it was this uh ugly yellow color so all right we gotta head back out to eagle creek get everything prepped for the at&t guy he's coming today uh, to install the new internet out there i'll show you exactly what me and uh my buddy tim did out there we ran conduit and as soon as we get out there we'll jump back on the camera and uh show you what it is i'll see you there just got back out here to my eagle creek house where at and is coming today to uh install the internet and i'm gonna take you right over here and show you what tim and i did to make their job easier and make it cleaner coming into the house right here is the at and box and let's pull this baby out right there is the pipe going through where they can run their fiber optic and we trenched it right through here right through the landscape can't even see it on this bermuda side probably but right up through here right across the landscape and drilled right here into the corner of the house let's jump over here into the crawl space and i'll show you where it's coming in all right let's go let's go under here into this crawl space just like always flip the switch we got lights throughout can't wait to show y'all a video in the future of this crawl space getting encapsulated that's coming soon but anyway let's go straight back here and i'm gonna show you what's up all right so right here is where it's coming into the house and I'm gonna take this and fasten it right here onto the wall so that that fiber optic cable can go right up here to the joist and then circle around go over the HVAC unit here come right up underneath the stairs in the house into the closet where the structured wiring box is let's go jump in there i'll show you where it's going to come in and how we have it set up all right here we are inside the house right here's the closet under the stairs let's turn the light on there and here is the structured wiring box behind this box when i take it out of the wall is all of the cat 6e the rg6 all the wires ran to every single room in the house comes in underneath here i'm going to have them pull the fiber optic up through here 
we're gonna mount everything in here. I'm about to put the receptacles in here, plug it in, set the modem up on this shelf. Everything will be clean. After we get that wired in, all of those Cat6 cables can plug directly into the router via a splitter that we're gonna put inside this box right here. And it will be able to hardwire every single TV, every single computer, whatever you want to, we can hardwire it in and not have to rely just on the Wi-Fi connection, but the hardwire will produce exceptionally fast speeds so we don't have to worry about the Wi-Fi like I said earlier. We also have RG6 cables running to every single room where there's TVs and every single room period to the TV locations and it'll come in here to a splitter and it runs out of here and two wires go up into the attic so that we can add a high definition antenna and have free channels on every single TV. We will not be having cable TV in this house. Cable TV is garbage, bunch of hoopla on there that we don't even care about. We will only use streaming services and our free cable through the high definition. That will be plenty for this family as we don't spend a lot of time in front of that screen anyways. All right, I just pulled the box out. I'm gonna use my cell phone light here to show you. Let's see if I can shine down in here. And you can see right here are all the cables underneath the stairs. There's the yellow uh, 12 2 with the ground wire that we're about to wire in this uh, outlet. Golly, there's a rack of gun nails for the trim nailer right there. Anyways, so right down here below, we can cut an access door and put a plastic access door in there found at your local box store so that we can get in there if we need to fish any wires up from the crawl space at a later date once we get this permanently installed and all the wiring in there. All right, so we finished the ATT install and right here I'm showing you in the structured wiring box, we've got the two outlets, temporary have it plugged in there. There's the fiber optic running in. Got the modem right here. We're gonna run all these wires through the wall, down through here. Once this face screen's on, you won't see any of that and we still have plenty of options right here to put all the switches in for the Cat 60. So we're all done with that today. I went over to the shop, uh, finished the rest of the painting on that building that I was showing y'all early. It's late tonight, didn't get in till late because the ATT guy didn't get here till later, scheduling conflict. So I wanted to bring y'all in my office right here and show you, here's my new office at the new house. It's not done yet. We've got cabinetry that's gonna go right here. As soon as we get the wood shop set back up at the new shop over there that I was painting, I'm gonna build that. Gonna build a new desk here, uh, a little bit smaller. It's all gonna be black, probably rubbed through to go with all this. I've got tons of stuff that's gonna go on these walls. We're gonna have tons of vlog videos coming from right here. Uh, shooting straight over the desk like this. It's gonna be pretty sweet. I've got these boxes are full of just personalized stuff from my life. Uh, like right here, here's something my dad bought me. It's a pretty cool, like it's a coral. Looks like a coral out of the ocean. He bought that for me back when I owned tncorals.com. Uh, there's some other videos on here you can check out. Not too many, I wasn't too much in the video thing back then didn't know how to make the videos of the corals very well but i used to sell corals online for about maybe four or five years but anyway i uh, want to update y'all we got the septic permit on the river the custom river house that i'm building so we're going to be putting that septic system in soon get the house pinned out dig that basement i'm going to have videos of everything on that house can't wait for it and let me know if you like these vlog style videos. I'll do more of them. I'm trying to get everything going here at the new house we moved in so I can get at least two to three videos a week for you guys to watch. 
and follow me on. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, we're starting a brand new job in the morning. Uh, some cabinet paint. I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't even want to tell you, but brand new job in the morning. It's going to have videos to go along with it. Uh, and I appreciate y'all watching. Go down there, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification so you don't miss any more videos. And I will see y'all in the next video.